So it starts with a big bang, and in fact, I recently met someone and said, I was a cosmologist, and they said, oh, you mean like in the book Sapiens? <laughs> so, um, so in that book, the Big Bang is kind of a nice device to help us remember that we're not the center of the universe. Um, for the purposes of this meeting, um, the universe, and in particular the arrow of time, which comes from the beginning of the universe, is absolutely central to the um, existence of intelligence, consciousness, and agency. And I think we've had a nice discussion of that this morning. So I think I can start with that notion. And I'll say a little bit more about cosmology. The arrow of time has to do with a low entropy start. People lead themselves down a path where they worry that that's some kind of fine tuning. But regardless of what words you use, I think there's lots of people here who agree we'd love to understand better where that low entropy start comes from. It's essential for so many different things. And I'm in, in particular very interested in the role inflation has to pay, play in that, and I invite conversations about that because I think it's, it's really intriguing what inflation does and does not do for that. But I'm not going to say anything more about that now. I'm going to get in now a discussion. So my intention for this lightning talk is to provoke a conversation that has started at other meetings with me and Sean and Seth. So a new development is I've come to like consistent histories to a degree, and I want to share with you what I'm thinking now. What are consistent histories? It's a tool to extract classical behavior from something that's fundamentally quantum. If you have, um, if you think about a path integral, the pa different paths typically interfere with each other. But under you, consistent histories is a tool to find the paths that don't interfere with each other and which, to which you can assign concrete probabilities. So it's a tool for extracting classical behavior out of a quantum system. Now, interestingly, consistent histories have a, a, a property that sometimes, originally I thought was a bug. I got used to it and thought it was an okay thing. And for the purposes of this talk, it's a feature. And it's that you can pretty much easily construct any kind of consistent history you want by projecting on a state, any state you want, and following it according to the evolution of the full Hamiltonian of the universe. And that um, tool is what I'm going to use now. So basically, you can take a stationary state, project on a low entropy state, and construct a path with a nice arrow of time. And even though if you're used to these tools, what I just said in words is all you need to know to understand my point. We're physicists and we like calculations, and I have a nice little toy model that's an adaptation of the caldera leggett model, which I solve entirely unitarily. The um, picture I'm showing you is the, the solid line across the top is the entropy of the full initial state, which is a stationary state, and it stays stationary as as we know it should, but I've identified a particular consistent history that's perfectly consistent. There's not the slightest bit of interference with the other paths where the entropy on that history starts at zero and goes up, and so there's a nice arrow of time here. Um, so this is a striking thing that you can have an arrow of time, in some sense fundamentally does not have an arrow of time, and I want to put that out there as a provocation. Um, it's something that can only happen in quantum physics. I don't think there's a classical analog to the statement. It's, it's quite intriguing, and I just lay it out there as a provocation. And the only other thing I want to say is that this is a particular path. You can ask what happens. One interesting technical point is I can also show the entropy for the complement, all the other paths that are not that path. That's on here on the dotted line. So um, thanks. Thank you. And, and I look forward to the conversations that we were going to have. Great.